since I've been kind of out of commission for the last how many days, my house is in desperate need of some help. I actually have a trick for getting rid of hiccups. I don't know. I'm you go put that back right now, Santa. everybody so I am trying to get some cleaning done since I've been kind of out of commission for the last how many days my house is in desperate need of some help so I'm gonna start with a regular clean I wrote myself a list I think I have about 23 things about 19 of those I really want to get done today including wrapping more presents I did some last night I don't want to be up really late a lot of times I'm up to like one or two in the morning wrapping presents because we have so many kids so there's lots of little packages to wrap so I don't want to be doing that this year so I kind of am trying to spread it out over several days which is the smartest way to go and now that Aspen's a little bit older I can put presents out under the tree so anyway I'm gonna do a clean with me video for you guys today because that's what's going on in this house. And of course we'll do it a little vlog style like we always do, but let's get into it because it's a messy house and it needs a lot of help. So I did get a few things wrapped last night. I got Charlie's present wrapped, a few things for the kids, and there's a few presents under the tree. So I've got a little bit done, a little ways to go. Let's get some cleaning. have the dining room almost done the only thing I have left to do is some sweeping and vacuuming I don't know if I'm gonna get any mopping done today but that's not on my priority list really just getting the house back in order where you can walk through it and it doesn't look like a disaster so I'm not really worried about the technical stuff today like dusting and mopping but I do want to get sweeping and vacuuming and picking up and wiping down any surfaces that need it putting things back in their home but it's starting to look good right now we're gonna make some lunch and I have no idea what I'm gonna make it's one of those days you guys but it's almost one o'clock so anyway I'm gonna mark a few things off my list see how much I've accomplished and then we'll get back into it okay I have the hiccups. We had fried egg sandwiches for lunch, so that was really good. It was easy, quick, and delicious. Oh, I cannot get rid of these hiccups, but I actually have a trick for getting rid of hiccups. So if you don't know it, I'm gonna teach you something today. You may already know this, but if you don't, this is an amazing trick. So, take a drink. Don't swallow it until you do this. Then when you do what I'm about to show you, I know this is coming out really weird. But when you do what I'm about to show you, it'll get rid of your hiccups. So take a drink, don't swallow. And swallow when your head's tipped upside down and your hiccups will be gone. When you tip your head upside down, I've been told that it has something to do with the pressure it puts on your cleft palate up above 
that helps get rid of the hiccups. But it actually works, you guys, and it works really well. All right, anyway, I'm gonna get back to the cleaning. So before lunch, I had stopped after cleaning up the table. I'm gonna wipe it down again because we ate out here on the table. The kids have a few things around, so I'm gonna pick those up. Um, and get it wiped off. I think Aspen left some papers out that I think he's gonna come back to, so I'm just gonna stick them on his little table. And then I'm gonna sweep and vacuum. But first, we're gonna hit some laundry and dishes. Christmas tree. Mm. Are those trees? The star. Mm -hmm. What are you gonna have? A star, a tree, a Santa, or a snowman? I'll take another one, Daddy. Mm. No. no. Mm, those are, snowman? Those are M and M's. Good. Are you getting ready for bed? I need I'm that for Christmas Eve. I need that for Christmas Aspen. Eve with my dress. Yeah. <laughs> are you getting ready for bed? I'm sleeping. You're sleeping. Guys, I gotta show you why he's Santa. He insisted that even though I've been sick and we couldn't get the stuff out like we normally do, that we pull out our Christmas decorations. So he has these out. And then, this is the first time we've hung this this year, so that's in our dining room. And I've got the dishwasher going, but he put this on top of our dishwasher. It's a little cookie tray. You go put that back right now, Santa. And then, he had me bring out this little stocking tray. My sister, Charlene, gave me these. Uh, I think last year I got them. And then he had me bring out our little Christmas towel that we hang on our 
stove. And then I know the dishwasher is noisy, but we've got this one hanging here. And I've got three of these to hang by the sink. I really like these because they hook on. All right, I had to show you one last Christmas decoration. And this one was all Ireland's doing because she made this arrangement last year. But there is her Christmas bouquet and our two little reindeer votive holders. So I think all in all, the house is getting really Christmassy. <laughs> oh, and her. My mom made this last year and her nose has since fallen off, but Aspen insisted she had to have a place of honor across from Santa Claus. So the end of our cleaning night has come. We've gotten Christmas decorations up. Oh, and Aspen wanted to put the stockings out. Now I don't have anywhere to hang them, you guys. So every year what we've been doing until we have a place to hang them is putting them by the Christmas tree. So we just lay them there and then, you know, Santa fills we up. Do, we do stockings first every Christmas. Yes. They do those Christmas morning and then they open their Santa presents. So, but Aspen insisted that we had to hang the stockings tonight. So that's what all the Christmas decorating frenzy was after I did some cleaning on the house today. Was Aspen wanting to get his stocking out. And I had promised him that I would let him do that at the end of the night if he would let me clean. Now, I don't know how much of the him letting me clean, but I actually did get quite a bit done. But he very much wanted my attention today. And I think everybody else is in the house. I really think he's just bored and a little stir crazy because he was inside and the weather was actually really nice last but week. But mom was sick. But I was too sick to and get Dad him outside. And was having to take care of mom. Yeah. Well, and, and he, he was working too. So, yeah, so it's just been, it's been tough for him. But I think with some of the activities coming up and we're going over to my sister Amanda, so he's going to have other kids to play with, which will be really nice. Kids He'll have his age. cousin. Yeah, his cousin Elijah is his age. And then Bryce is close in age, so a little bit Chloe older and, than him. Uh, yeah, and Chloe and Olivia. Olivia. So he'll have kids to play with, which will be nice. And when we go to Grandma's house, um, his cousins Owen and Sawyer and everybody will be there too. So And Ellie and Jameson and Dominic. Oh, there's so many kids, you guys. There's a lot of people in our family. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, I'm in the coolest room in the house, you know, because yeah. this really is the coolest room in the house right now. But I can't say anything, but you guys will find out soon. You'll find out soon. It has to do with the room. Yes. We can say that. Yeah, I can say that much. So this, I can just say this won't forever be the, although it is pretty cool, it won't forever be the coolest room in the house. Yeah. It'll be one of the coolest many coolest rooms in the house. house. But right now, I'm sitting in here to wrap presents yeah. with tea. So. It's a tradition to wrap in my room now. Yeah, T and I do that together, so. Except for when it comes time to wrap her presents, then, no. I kick her out of her room. Over my room. <laughs> I used to do it in the living room, but since Aspen's gotten to the age where he might come downstairs and stuff like that, we stay in here because we can lock his And then she kicks me out of my own room to wrap. Yes, I have to. Anyway, we will see you tomorrow, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you tomorrow. I'm so happy to be back to daily vlogging. It's so nice. And cleaning my house again. And one more thing. Because I've been wanting to say this the last couple of times that I filmed and I haven't gotten a chance to because I got distracted or sidetracked. But I just wanted to thank everybody for your well wishes and stuff. That was so greatly appreciated. It was really cool also to hear how many people had birthdays either on my birthday or really close to it. So happy birthday to you guys as well. Emily, Megan, and if I missed anybody, let me know in the comments and I will wish you a happy birthday too.